It may feel colder than much of January was, but hey, at least there is some sunshine out there. I think most of the sun we're seeing across the area is in the Champlain Valley, but even if you look out into the distance, some of the mountains, you can see some snow falling, and that's the forecast for today and tomorrow. The air simply goes up and you get some mountain snow, but look at this. It's 27 in Burlington. The Average high on February 2nd is 28. We're actually starting to go up now in the average department. So we're right where we should be. These are seasonable numbers. We might add another degree or so as we go through the next two or three hours, but it's 31 in Lebanon, 27 in both Burlington and Plattsburgh, 28 in Rutland, and 25 degrees in Montpelier right now. Storm Tracker doesn't have a ton of snow activity on it. Again, the faint indication of some flurries or light snow in the mountains. A good amount of clouds, especially as you head south. But again, the Champlain Valley, also northern portions of Clinton, Franklin, and St. Lawrence counties in New York. A good amount of sunshine right now, and I think that lasts for a good portion of the afternoon. The wider perspective shows that we still have this persistent northwest flow, and I just checked the Great Lakes ice cover. It's only at 8.5%. Basically, when the lakes get iced over, you shut off the lake effect snow machine in clouds because the lakes are the moisture source. But it's just been warm enough that the lakes have not been able to freeze over. So that's why whenever the wind comes over the water, you get in on the clouds and some mountain snowfall. So in Vermont today, 25 in Stowe, 25 in Morrisville, 28 in Burlington. So if you're going out for maybe an hour or two skiing, the weather is really nice. It's not uh, all that cold at all. 30 in Windsor, 32 in Lebanon, the high. And in southern Vermont, we're looking at 30s as well. 30 in Wilmington, 30 in Springfield, and 30 in Ludlow. So futurecast going through the afternoon shows the blend of clouds and sunshine, a few flurries here and there. Going into tomorrow, it's basically a carbon copy. A good amount of sun blending with the clouds and again a little bit of mountain snow. Jay Peak I saw had a half foot this morning. They'll probably add a couple of inches going into the weekend, but given that there's no real warm up before the weekend, I think skiing will be superb on Saturday and Sunday. And look at this. Speaking of Saturday, a good amount of sunshine blending with the clouds. We still have a northwest flow on Saturday, some cold high pressure to the south and west. That'll act to really bring in a cold air mass, at least lock it in initially. So when we have a little bit of a clipper system coming through late on Sunday, we'll get brushed with maybe a coating of snow, some spots perhaps seeing an inch or two. But the key to this forecast for late on Sunday is that the storm passes north of us. That's not a great track for maximizing the amount of snowfall. So I really think it's a minor deal and the timing is skewed later on Sunday. So really overall, the weekend looks quite nice. The snow showers both today and tomorrow, a dry day Saturday. Most of Sunday is dry again. That clipper skews later in the day. And then, yeah, we're looking at a storm for Tuesday and Wednesday. That is not all snow. It looks like snow, sleet, freezing rain, one of those mixed bags on Tuesday into Wednesday. You think it'd be snow with that high of 18 on Monday, but the track probably isn't going to be ideal. So plenty of stuff to keep our eyes on. And of course, we'll have a full update tonight on NBC5 News at 5. Leanne, back over to you.